Let's stay with the players. Here are Here the national come. champions. There's uh, Frank Weed, and I can recognize some of the people. Why, the associate Whedon. athletic director? Yes. Uh, Gary Dornberg, uh, who was there with uh, representing WPTF Radio. Uh, they are coming this way. There's we Coach hope. Malvano. Yeah, there's the coach. He's okay. Jim Balvano has made such a tremendous contribution not only to his team and his school, but Tommy out there, he became the, the uh, most sought after coach in that in the in the playoffs because I think he is so loose and, and easy to talk with and the press just absolutely adores him. Well, he's such an outgoing fella. He loves to talk. He loves people and it comes out on the air and what you read in newspapers. They would not let us get closer with our cameras to the plane than this. We're going to try to get but some people over here to talk to us. The people are going to come over here, we think, and we hope. Some of them are getting, beginning to come this way. I can't imagine what the atmosphere might have been on that plane. There's uh, Coach Valvano. Uh, Coach B! Coach Valvano! Coach B! Hey, Coach! Coach B! Come over. Hold on, Mitch. Okay. Uh, Tommy's going over to see if he can bring the coach over here. We understand that he has a, that the coach does not feel well. He has a fever. But we're going to try to get him on camera here. He's <laughs> Charlie, we've got Coach Valvano okay. coming over. Here he comes. Coach, congratulations. Welcome home. Thank you very much. Pardon my voice. We've heard that you're under the weather. Are you yeah. okay? I've got the flu pretty bad, but it feels it feels pretty good. Coach, a team of destiny. We talked about it in our special we did uh, three weeks ago. I've never seen such unbelievable game after game after game. And no question, the Houston game is no exception. Uh, if you were there, no one gave us a chance. Uh, the, the media uh, really was talking about it as if it was almost a mismatch. And uh, I think that got us fired up a little bit, too. And we felt we could play with them, and the kids got the job done. You know, I said this on the air last night. Uh, Y'all were behind by about four points, and I start writing my uh, script. And the guy says, what are you doing? I said, State's going to win this game. When they get behind, they play well, and I don't see how you pulled we, what game after game. We had them right where we wanted them. <laughs> <laughs> They're down by six or three minutes. Coach, are you okay? Do you feel like you, you have this uh, bug? Is it part of the thing that the team got out there? Yeah, it's exactly what happened, Charlie. Uh, Derek Wittenberg got sick, uh, and one of my assistants got sick, and then the same thing. It's all been the same thing. It's been the, the flu and high fever and... Not feeling too good, but uh, I feel much better after we won. Sure. How, how does this, how does all of this activity and this excitement affect the children, your children and your family? Oh, they absolutely love it. I had uh, my mom and my dad, my brothers, all my children were there. Everybody was crying. Everybody was crying. Except the baby. She wanted some popcorn or something. You know that. But it's been, it's been marvelous. It really has. What will this do for your program? Presumably it will be a big boost for uh, State's basketball program, yeah. but what will be the extent of the impact? Well, I, I don't think that immediately, oh, I'm going to lose my kid. <laughs> I'm going to lose my child. Grab her. <laughs> We've got her. I'm going to lose my boy. I think that uh, it won't have as much of an impact on this recruiting class because it, they've already been signed. But we know that we're going to have a tremendous impact on the juniors we're talking to, and those people have already indicated a strong interest in us. Coach B, this is some basketball area. Carolina, the national champion, last year's state this year. Isn't that fantastic, huh? It's something. And we'd like to see, let's see it happen again next year, too. Coach, thanks a lot. Thank you, Thank you Coach. Sorry. That's fact. But that's it for right now from Raleigh-Durham, our live uh, telecast from here as we welcome home the Wolfpack of North Carolina State. The uh, glass slipper fits. The dream has come true.